Hello my lovely. So I keep getting questions about how to go vegan and grocery store runs. So today I'm going to be doing a grocery store haul with you guys. And this is going to be for vegans, um, regular vegans, beginner vegans. Um, my grocery trip will be a little bit different only because I am alkaline vegan. Um, but you could get the same stuff and apply this to your life as well. But <laughs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get going now. I'm about to hop in the car. I got my iPad, I'm ready to go. So I love kale. So I get usually this brand, but the one next to it, which is the orange bag as well, I do get that one as well. I just love kale in general, but I always try to get the organic brands because there's just certain things that you should always buy organic. Now for cucumbers, I always get Persian cucumbers. I just like that they're small, they're easier to pack. I love portobello mushrooms. Those are like the only ones that don't break me out. So <laughs> I love those. Butternut squash is a must have for me for soups. So I always get at least two of those. I love carrots because they're good at snacking on and using for stews and soups. Brussels sprouts, you guys should know already. I'm obsessed with them. I love them to a T. Now for bell peppers, I get every color. Now, as I'm choosing, I always get the one that has four because that's the female, and the females are sweeter. Wink, wink. So, um, I always get any bell peppers that have four, not the three at the bottom because those are the males. So, it has nothing to do with me being a feminist. It has everything to do with the taste, hunty. Okay? So, <laughs> yeah, just showing you guys again. Green bell peppers and orange bell peppers. Yum. Okay, <laughs> then I always get cilantro because this is a must-have. You guys should eat a lot of cilantro. It's very good for you. Cherries are a must-have as well. I love when it's cherry season because they are fire. And lately, I've been having the best cherries. Dates, I talk about dates so much, so you guys know I always have dates on hand. Easy snacks, very easy. And I put my mom on for her, her blood sugar, it helps. Rambutans, they're in season right now, so they're fire. You should go to your local Trader Joe's and try them because I kid you not, they're fire. Okay, I said fire a lot. Um, I always need onions, so I usually get one or two red onions because I use onions a lot. Salads, soups, whatever. Avocado is my life. I eat it by itself, I eat it on top of stuff, I eat it in stuff. Like avocados are my whole entire life and when I can get Caribbean avocados which are called pear that makes me even happier because they're bigger but you do what you can do with where you at okay as for tomatoes I only eat cherry or plum tomatoes so I usually get one of these two and when this happened like why you know <laughs> but I get one of those two or plum tomatoes but usually I just end up getting cherry tomatoes because they're easier to find cantaloupe is amazing I'm eating cantaloupe as I edit this video because it is early in the morning and that's usually how I start my day with fruit so I'm eating half a cantaloupe right now as we speak as I edit <laughs> now I wanted to show you guys these peaches they didn't have any organic ones but if they did, I would have got those, but I don't buy peaches that are not organic. Now for mangoes, I'm obsessed with these. I buy so many packs of these, I'm convinced I'm the one who clears that shelf out at least twice a week. Um, now for plantain chips, technically they have palm oil in it, so I really shouldn't be eating it, but at that, you know, I, I need something to snack on when I'm traveling, so that's what I do. Jackfruit in the can is my emergency. I don't cook with it that much. Hello my lovelies. Okay, so I hopefully the lighting stays with me because the sun is setting, so I'm going to Does that help? Okay, so the lighting is going to be a little bit off because I'm too lazy to get out my lighting equipment. So I have my ceiling lights on. I know that creates a little cast over my eyes, but I ain't trying to look cute for this video, okay? <laughs> So I'm just gonna show you some of my staple products that I get every time I go to the grocery store. And when I say every time, I mean every single time. So I always get coconut milk. I prefer the So Delicious brand. It's because it's actual coconut milk versus a lot of them are coconut beverages. Um, there's a difference between the two. I broke my nails, so don't mind this, okay? <laughs> um, but I use this for my matcha lattes, my smoothies, my some of my stews and sometimes soups so this is really important that's why i get the unsweetened i am alkaline vegan so i do not consume regular pasta so my pasta substitute is this barilla pasta it's made with one ingredient which is red lentils so that's pretty much what i use 
as my um, pasta replacements and I usually get three. I get the penne and I get rotini and I will show you my cupboard after so you can see just how much I have. I don't like to run out of that because I love pasta. Kale is super important to me because I use it for stews, soups, um, I eat it for salads, and sometimes I just nibble on it myself. I keep saying I'm going to attempt to make kale chips, but I have yet to do it. But the reason why I get this one, the organic shredded kale, is because this one actually cooks down like collard greens. So I used to get a different bag, which I'll show you in the freezer. I use that one more so if I'm like, like um, using it for soups or things like that where I don't necessarily care how thinly it's cut. But this one, for some reason, when it's cooked, it, it mimics collard greens to me. So I love this stuff. Another staple product that I never run out, out of, and it must be my Jamaican, is plantain chips. I love these Trader Joe ones. Um, I'm like low-key sick of them, but every time I see them, I still get them. Um, because they're just a very quick, easy snack for me to have. When I'm like traveling or whatever, if I know I have to be in the car for a long time, I know I can grab these because, again, since I'm alkaline vegan, I can't eat like potato chips and a lot of the things that are already packaged. So the only packaged things that I eat is this, and I'm about to show you the next thing. Mangoes! So, oh my God, all my friends and family know, if you want me to be happy, get me just mango. I actually keep an emergency pack in my backpack that I bring everywhere just because, again, since I'm alkaline vegan, it's not as easy as, oh, let's just stop at this store real quick or this restaurant real quick so you could get food. It's like, no, I only have but so many choices. So this is like my emergency if like, I ain't got no food around or we're traveling and I need something like for my blood sugar like so that I don't get weak, I will eat this. So I always have a lot of these on hand. So right now, I bought four of these, but typically I have like six in my cabinet. For real, I buy it once a week, six of them, back to back. The next thing that I like to get is portobello mushrooms. I like these because they're thick and I can mimic steak-like meals. My lighting is going away. Um, I can mimic steak-like meals with these and they're very filling and they're really good on salads too if you saute them. Carrots, boom, I get these ones right here. Technically, these aren't considered alkaline um, with Dr. Sebi, so this is something that I just continue to get for my own personal reasons because I like it in my soups, and I also sometimes snack on these when I make my own homemade hummus, so I love these. Now, cherries, y'all. Cherries are everything. They are nature's detox. Cherries. Key limes and mangoes, yes, are all good at removing mucus, but grapes and cherries are really good detox fruit, so I love cherries. I love these as my sweet tooth snack, so I keep them in the refrigerator so that when I take them out, they're nice and soft and cold. It kind of like, not mimics chocolate, but like, it mimics something along that line. So it will knock my sweet tooth like that because that's my biggest thing. I love sweets, like I used to love Twix and Snickers and Kit Kats and all those lovely things that are not good for you. And instead I replace them with dates. <laughs> now y'all, cantaloupes. I love my some, I love my some. I love some cantaloupe so much. This I will cut completely up, either eat half of it for um, breakfast or eat the full thing for breakfast. Cantaloupe is a really good fruit for you, but when you eat melons, watermelon, melons, and honeydews, you're only supposed to eat them by themselves when they are being consumed because they need to be digested alone. So love getting cantaloupe. I love getting seeded watermelon as well, but it's just really hard to find nowadays. So when I get it, it's great. I had some bomb watermelon from New York for my uncle. It was fire, it was so sweet, and it was seeded, it was great. And I eat the seeds. So for anybody wondering, I do consume the watermelon seeds because they're very nutritious for you. They contain your iron, your zinc, your copper, your magnesium, your potassium. They have amino acids, proteins. Just eat your watermelon seeds, okay, hunty? Because they're good for you. <laughs> so if there was a watermelon that I seen, I would've got that too, but it'd be too hard to find. Now, 
Butternut squash. I have a hate-love relationship with butternut squash only because I don't actually really like the taste of it. <laughs> but um, I know it's good for me, so I'll eat it. The only time I actually could stand the taste of it is when I make it in my soups because then it's like kind of broken down and it kind of takes on the flavor of the broth. Other than that, I've tried to cook with butternut squash so many times and I just do not like the taste. So usually when I get this, it goes straight in the freezer because I use it for my soups. Cilantro, y'all, is so important. I always get a bunch of cilantro because cilantro removes heavy metals and toxins from your body. So I try to incorporate cilantro in as many things as I can, whether that's just like cooking with the seasoning or chopping it up and putting it in whatever meal that I have. Obviously not doing too much so it doesn't alter the taste, but the benefits of it are really good. I used to also just blend it with water and take that down because again, it's really good at re um, removing heavy metals from your body. The next thing is Brussels sprouts. I have my recipe on my vegan channel. I'll leave it in one of these corners. It's like my favorite meal ever to make with avocado and like, I love these. I don't think these are Dr. Sebi approved either, but it's just one of my vices that I'm also not giving up because I love it so much. Bell peppers are super important for me. I usually get more than what I got today, but typically I like to get them when they're on sale. If I'm just going to Trader Joe's, I only get like three to four of them just because they're like a dollar each. But if I'm like, if I go to my Mexican grocer, I'll get more, I'll get way more. I'll get like three or four of each color. Um, and then also I wasn't able to go to my Mexican grocer today because it was just way too hot. So another thing that I usually pick up from them is a whole bunch of key limes. So I'll have to do that on another day when, ooh, as you can see, I'm out of breath. My house, the AC says it's on 78, but I promise you, I feel like I'm burning up right now. So I always have to get a bag of avocados. Um, I get the teeny tiny ones because I feel like it's a good deal. I usually only eat half per meal, whatever meal I'm eating. So I feel like I get more bang for my buck when I get the teeny tiny. Um, and I love avocados. That's how I get the majority of my fat in my diet because as you can see from what I eat, I don't get that many calories. So in order for me to kind of catch up in calories, I eat a lot of avocados, like two to three a day. I love onions, whether it's cooked, raw, whatever the case may be, but my favorite onion is the red onion. I don't wear deodorant, so I feel like whenever I eat any of the other onions, not that I get BO, but I notice like a difference under my arms, okay? <laughs> not that it's bad, it's just like I notice a difference versus red, I don't have any effects from when I eat this, so I prefer to eat red. Now, I don't eat canned food anymore, however, the only thing that I sometimes still get canned is this jackfruit. So I know it's not good because it has citric acid in it uh, as a preservative, but I do keep this in my cabinet for um, when basically I am too lazy to go to the store or something like that and I'm just very, very low with food because as you can see, everything is fresh so I can't buy like a lot of food at once or it'll go bad. So I have to just get little spurts of food so this is like my savior if like I can't. However, the real jackfruit is readily available. It's just the supermarkets that I have refuse to cut it in half, so they're like huge, like this big, and I'm like, I'm not about to eat that by myself, so I don't be getting it. And then on top of that, it's also not a Dr. Sebi approved thing, but again, that's the third thing that I'm not letting go. And even though they're not Dr. Sebi approved, I think they still are considered all alkaline. I am obsessed with Rambutans. These things are so amazing. To me, they're like a mixture of a grape, a leech, and a mango. So these aren't always available. However, since it is in season, I got it because I love these so much. And usually I get them from Sprouts. So as you can see, they're tiny. So Sprouts wants a dollar just for this. So when I seen this package in Trader Joe's, anytime I see it, I get it because it's a little bit of a better deal than Sprouts. Love them. Then I have to have tomatoes. I only get, ah, cherry tomatoes. I showed you guys in the grocery store. I either get this one or I get just the solid red ones. Persian rugs. Is she from Nicaragua? Is she Persian love? Ow. <laughs> okay, so Persian cucumbers. I love these ones because they're tiny enough that I could just grab two, snack on it, or I grab two and I make my avocado sushi rolls 
And yeah, I just love these ones. I prefer these ones. Is that it? Is that all my food? That's it. That's all my food. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys the refrigerator. Now don't judge me, okay? Because I just got back two days ago, so this, I didn't go shopping, okay? I have not been home for two weeks. <laughs> so every time before I travel, I completely clear out my refrigerator. Because again, when it's only produce in here, it goes bad, okay? As you can see, I always have milks on deck. So I got a gang of coconut milks. Um, and I have an almond milk for uh, my friends when they come over. I have my hemp milk back there, some coconut water. I already had some dates, but again, like I eat dates a lot, so I always re-up on that. Always got a whole bunch of water, that's the other thing. All my waters are lined up, ready to be sprayed. I always spray my water, despite like before the pandemic hit, I always wipe down my stuff because you should be doing that anyways, okay? Um, back to this program. Um, then in here, I have some spelt flour, some chickpea flour. This is some more cilantro. This is a cucumber from my dad's garden, so I brought it back with me from uh, my parents' house. So yeah, I love, I love the fact that my dad has a garden. Um, Usually this is where I put all my fruits, but again, I always clear out my fridge before I leave. Apples are like, they stay good for three months, so like, they they be good living their lives. So, usually these drawers are filled with fruits, but I'm about to leave again on Friday, so I only bought just enough food for the next few days. So, pretty much this whole door is just not for me. So, it's for when I have company, so like the top is like, Cream cheese, butter, garlic, all that stuff is for like uh, my company when they come. All this stuff I don't actually use. Um, the only thing I use on this shelf is the veggie broth and tahini and sometimes olives, but again, it's, it's a hit or miss because it does have um, a preservative in it, so I try not to really bang with it that much. I love Velo coconut water, but this is just like something that I have every now and then because it has so much sugar in it. Also eat the tamarind that has the red top. I do use that as well. So that's just like a sweet treat, but like really, I don't really bang with this. This is not mine. Down here is my stuff, so I have my um, shredded coconut, my coconut chips back there, some hemp seeds, some walnuts, some Brazil nuts and walnuts. Down here, I have my stuff for my face, so my brown sugar I use for my lips and my face, my turmeric is for my face. Flaxseed meal, I don't actually eat flaxseed anymore, but I just keep it just in case people wanna put it in their smoothies, and then I have some amaranth down there um, for amaranth bowls. Now my freezer stays stuck. Um, right here, or back here, I have some breadfruit. I just, um, I buy raw chickpeas and then I boil them and then I freeze them so for when I'm ready to cook them. Um, this shelf is literally just kale. I got some Brussels sprouts here, some butternut squash, some more kale back there, some frozen bananas, some lentil soup, um, for a rainy day, and this is my best friend's ice cream that I think she forgot about. On um, this shelf, I have some falafel and some hash. That is not mine. Um, it's my friend's. I have some kale, some peaches, um, some blueberries. That strip back there is for mi novio. Then I have down here some um, fruits that I cut up. I cut up all my fruits and I freeze them, so I have mangoes strawberries, which I don't really consume that much anymore. Um, and then back there is a berry mix. On this shelf down here is more fruit, but it's also some Kalaloo, some Serrano peppers, and some sweet potato fries that are not mine because they're not alkaline, um, and then some more mango. That's it. This is my cabinet, y'all. So these beans up here is Minovio, so that's not mine. Um, but then I do have some Jamaican ackee in the can for when I'm feeling froggy and I'm craving Jamaican food. I will pop that open. I have some hemp powder, uh, some bonza spaghetti, which is chickpea spaghetti. So sometimes randomly, and kind of right now, so I might need to go back to the store. <laughs> I sometimes crave spaghetti. And I love this one because it's only made from chickpeas. Then back there, I have about three veggie broths, some more olives. Here's my barilla, y'all see, I got a thing for pasta. Um, then I have some coconut cream, 
Um, I have about three cans and then I have multiple cans of garbanzo beans. The only reason why you see these cans is because God forbid something happened, I could pop open these cans and eat it. But do I eat them on a normal? No, I, I make my own chickpeas with the raw ones. These are my seasonings. I'm not about to pull all of them out because we all like different things. I always have agave. Shoot, I forgot to get another agave. I like to have at least three of these on hand. Oh, <sighs> so I gotta go get agave. Um, this is actually never used. It's completely full. I just felt like as an adult I needed baking powder in my cabinet, but I don't use it because this is not a Dr. Sebi approved thing, so. There's really no reason why this should be in here, but I keep it in here. Just in case one day somebody says, do you have baking powder? I can say yes. Um, I have Vanilla Flavor, which is the alcohol-free brand um, from Trader Joe's, which again, is not a Dr. Sebi approved item. However, I keep it because I love vanilla. I have a whole, another Nectar, and then back here, I mean agave, and then back here is my date sugar, and my um, date sugar, like my, liquid date sugars back here and then my granule date sugars right here. Um, yeah, and then the honey I have for my face for when I'm doing um, facial products. I know it's not vegan, but I still bang with it because no bees die to my understanding. And if I'm wrong, you could definitely correct me, but I do keep that for my skincare. And then matcha is my life, so I'm obsessed with it. I get this brand and the Trader Joe's brand. So you guys, this is like my shopping trip. This is typically what I would get during my shopping run. And of course, there's little things that I miss that I'll have to go back to the store, but this is pretty much it. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and I hope it helps you um, when you're looking for what you should buy if you're freshly vegan or a freshly alkaline vegan. Here are some choices for you and yeah, I hope you have a marvelous day or night, whatever time it is, and I'll see you later. And if you wanna keep up with me, I'm out of breath. Follow me on Instagram at I'm Lady Elaine, Snapchat at Jamexian Beauty, and I'll see you later. <laughs>